We begin with that deadly shooting right here in New York. Two young police officers, both in their 20s, shot in the line of duty while responding to a domestic dispute. One was killed, the other at this hour fighting for his life. First responders overnight saluting their murdered brother as his body left the hospital. New York's mayor calling the incident an attack on all New Yorkers. Officer Jason Rivera died after being shot twice by the suspect. Officer Wilbert Mora is in critical condition, wounded in the back of his head. The alleged gunman also shot in the neck and shoulder by a third officer who was on the scene. That officer is being credited with preventing further violence. The gun police say was used by the suspect was a stolen Glock 45 pistol with a high capacity magazine. President Biden tweeting that he and the First Lady are saddened by the shooting and grateful for law enforcement officers and their families. Also tonight, the new numbers and alarming rise in gun violence across the country. ABC's Phil Lipoff leads us off from Harlem. New York City tonight reeling from the death of one of its finest, shot and killed in the line of duty. Police say three young officers responded after a mother called them from her Harlem apartment late Friday, saying she'd been, quote, having problems with her son, 47-year-old LaShawn McNeil. McNeil refusing to come out of a back room. Police say when rookie officer Jason Rivera approaches, McNeil begins to fire. Officer Rivera, just 22 years old, is killed. Standing right behind him is partner 27-year-old Wilbert Mora. Mora is then shot in the back of the head. A third officer, also a rookie, returned fire, hitting McNeil, who's now in the hospital. Both officers rushed to the hospital just three blocks away. Officer Mora tonight fighting for his life. Hours later, a silent procession for Officer Rivera. This was just not an attack on three brave officers. This was an attack on the city of New York. The NYPD releasing this picture of the Glock they say McNeil used to ambush the officers. Blood on the floor and a magazine capable of holding up to 40 rounds. Authorities say the gun was reported stolen in 2017 and are trying to figure out how it wound up in McNeil's hands. Mayor Eric Adams himself, a former police officer today, holding a round table on gun violence. Just as there's just a small number of shooters, there's a small number of gun dealers that are supplying the large number of guns in our city. Already this year, excluding suicides, more than a thousand people in the U.S. have died from gun violence, up 7% from last year. The Police Benevolent Association pleading with the public. The public has to send a message to anyone that dares to harm a New York City police officer. Not here, not now, not today, not to us. Officers Rivera and Mora are the third and fourth members of the NYPD to be shot in the line of duty just this week. A devastating week for the NYPD. Phil Lipoff joining us now from outside that Harlem hospital where the officers were taken. And Phil, we're hearing from Officer Jason Rivera's family tonight. Right. We, we were able to talk to Officer Rivera's brother, Jeffrey, who tells ABC News that from the time Jason was a kid, all he wanted to do was be a police officer. And he was so thrilled when he was able to realize that dream recently. He was loved by his family and friends. Also tonight, New York City is joining Detroit and Chicago and making a desperate plea to the federal government to help stop the flow of illegal guns into big cities. Wit. All right, Phil, lip off with that awful story tonight. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.